Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. Uh, we here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue with the, the stories with respect to Rav, Avram Yaakov of Sadagor, the Sadagor Rebbe. And um, I, I did a video a little while about, uh, a while ago about the importance of uh, people knowing their place. And I'm reminded of a little snippet with respect to uh, um, Rabbi, Rabbi Avram. He was asked, our sages say, and there is not a thing that has not its place. Everything has its place. And so man too has his own place. And so the good Rabbi said, okay. So the person asks, so why do people sometimes feel so crowded? If every person has its own place, why? Why, the, why do people feel crowded? They feel put upon. He thought for a second, and Rabbi Avram said, because each wants to occupy the place of the other. Each wants to occupy the other person's place. It feels crowded because he's not content with where he is. He wants to be somewhere else. And that, that tension, that, that, that gap, is the cause of him feeling uh, penned in and feeling so crowded. He's not happy with his place in life. He wants to be somewhere else. And um, that was uh, Rabbi Avram. Uh, one time, uh, Rabbi Avram Yaakov of Sadagora uh, was having lunch, was having his midday meal. His sister brought the food, placed it before him, and Rabbi Avram sighed. And he didn't eat. He just sat there with this look on his face, a sad look, and sighed. So, his sister asked, what's troubling you? He just sat there and sighed and looked sad. She asked the question again. She asked it several times. And at last, Rabbi Avram answered the question with a question. He said, have you heard the reports of the condition of our brothers in Russia? Things were, at the time, were were very dire for the Jewish community in Russia. The sister, thinking about it, she says, well, it seems to me that these sufferings of the Jewish people might be the birth pangs that herald the coming of Moshiach. These are the birth pangs of Moshiach. The tzaddik, uh, the Rabbi Sadagora considered this reply. And he said, yeah, maybe, perhaps, perhaps. But then he shook his head and he said, but when suffering is about to reach its peak, the Jewish people cry out to God. They cry to Hashem, praying that they can't bear it any longer. And God is merciful. He hears their prayer. And he listens to them. He relieves their suffering. And by doing this, he postpones the redemption. That's why he was sighing. If these are, in fact, the, the birth pangs of Moshiach, the troubled times we're going through, and as we have so often done over thousands of years, we cry out to God, begging for mercy, begging for some relief. God hears our prayer. And um, it postpones the, uh, the coming redemption. Uh, we're going to be doing more stories uh, about the Hasidic masters. Uh, please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Vinil, and thank you so much.